So, I'm getting ready to connect this keyboard to my computer to start making music and do some cool videos for you guys. And I ran into the problem that I've been having with the CK61 and the problem I've been having with the MODX6. And that is noise. If I have, if I connect this keyboard U via USB to, a, to my laptop, this is a MacBook Pro, and if I have it, and of course the MacBook Pro is connected uh, to a U44C uh, audio interface, and maybe it's the combination, but what ends up happening with these keyboards, as soon as I plug this via USB, I start getting noise th through uh, the audio ports that, that sound like this. Pretty annoying, eh? don't you think? So I get this noise, and so how do I deal with this? How do we make it go away? So in this video, we're, we're going to try to figure that one out because it's really starting to get on my nerves. And so stick around, let's see. So now the big question is, is how I'm gonna resolve this issue. So that issue with the sound, the noise that we get from connecting a keyboard or a USB device to a computer and then from another component, connect audio from that device, but we're talking about a keyboard here, to an amplification device or speakers. Sometimes you get that noise, and that noise seems to be very, very specific. And so it is always coming out through the audio port. As soon as I disconnect the USB connector with, with the CK61 or the MODX6, the noise disappears. Now, I'm not having problems for some strange reason with the MX61. The issue seems to be isolated specifically to those keyboards. So I'm not sure what the deal is. In fact, I'm not even sure I was having problems with uh, my CP73 either. So what I tried, I tried everything in the past to get rid of this noise. I thought, okay, it might be the it might be the audio patch cable, so I change the audio patch cables. It might be uh, dirty power. So I used a to do an experiment I had used connected to a power supply, uh, a, a battery, to see if the problem would want to go away. So even connecting a Jackery the keyboard is still generating that noise. Now in this setup I do have two mixers together so if I was to remove so this cable here actually loops and goes into the on two of the channels right here so what I can do is just put it directly so I can just take these cables here that are on uh, channel 5-6 that are on channel 5-6 of this keyboard and unplug them and the sound, will, the noise will go away and it seems to be just on the right channel and if I remove these guys right here if I remove these guys right here put these in place wait for it It's better, but it's still making the noise. So let's say we take, so let's say we take the make this mixer out of the picture. So I'm gonna shut it off. So now I have a keyboard on a battery, still getting noise.
and it's going to this device here, this UR44C, still making noise. So it might be a combination of things, but at the end of the day, it all comes back down to the USB connector. Because as soon as I take that off, the problem is gone. So I'm thinking, so I'm thinking it has very much something to do with USB. And I even had a, a USB suppressor, noise suppressor you can buy, but it didn't work because it, it all of a sudden the data didn't work and the connection didn't happen and there's all stuff that didn't go well. So the only alternative that I have is to use a direct box. So a direct box will create an environment where we can lift the ground and isolate things and the noise will go away. So I'll show you how to do that right now. Um, I don't like using those things because it does, I think it does cut on the signal a bit for me, but um, let's go through it. I'll show you. So in this situation here, we have to use something called direct box or a dual passive direct box with two channels. Two channels. Yeah, two channels. So it's essentially two uh, direct boxes into one so if you want to keep your stereo sound. If you're mono, you can get a single mono one. So what this will allow you to do is that it will allow you to essentially lift the ground. And to use this, you're going to need a cable that has a female XLR and one of these bad boys at the end. Now I took these from a cheap microphone that I had. I have two of those. And as far as an output is concerned, it uses two XLRs for output and you have a nice little switch here to lift the ground and that will pretty much hopefully help you with your sound and your noise. Now, and then the input, you got four because you have your basic input and you can, uh, you have your basic inputs right here and then you can have pass-throughs. So if you're going to other equipment. So hopefully with this, with this guy here, with these two cables and this dual direct box, hopefully that will alleviate the problem of the USB noise. All right, let's take a look. So I'm gonna take this guy here and I have no choice, but I gotta set it up right here just for now. And I'll preemptively connect the output cables uh, to it. So I'll just drop the cables on the ground just so that's a little more clean for me to work with. And we're basically gonna do this and basically, you know, Drop it on the ground and connect the other one. And what you end up doing is you take, you basically take your keyboard inputs and you will put them in the input connectors of the direct box. And then, on that point, turn around. This cable is way too long, but it does the job. These will go into, in my case, the UR44C. And then uh, we will here to, okay, hang on. And then I'm gonna put my headphones on to listen to see if the noise is still there. Let me give you an audio demo of that sound. So that's the sound that I hear. And now we're gonna test to see if basically the direct box, by lifting uh, the ground, does anything. So here there's a switch right here. If you can see it. And then I'm just going to turn it on. And the issue is gone. 
and I can still play. So that, folks, seems to be the only way we can resolve the issue that I've been having with the CK61 and the MODX6. Might be a coincidence that the problem, um, it's only happening with those two keyboards. And no matter what I do, I can't get rid of that problem. So I'm wondering if there's a way that potentially, if the issue is associated to the keyboard, USB, if there's a way that the engineers at Yamaha can maybe look at that and potentially figure out what the issue is. Because I'm not experiencing USB noise on every product. It's only those two. So try it on yourself. See what happens. Connect it to a to connect your, your, your keyboard USB wise to your computer and then connect the audio output of that keyboard to a USB audio device that connects to your computer. So when you're doing when you're using a DAW, you kind of need that combination. Um, tell me how what happens with you. Are you having that sounds with with the Korgs and, and the Rolands and all the keyboards, even the old ones? If it's got a USB port, tell me about it. Because if we find a keyboard that this problem never happens, it could be a a good reference point for the manufacturer to say, hey, what did we do in that design that helped us out? So I hope this video was very helpful. And if it was, right on. Um, and uh, just remember, music is the spice of life. Have a great day. Take care.